This is Ken. Although you might think he's still a bit young, Ken really is the new goalkeeper for Manchester United. As long as he remembers, Ken is looking up to the sky and flying for hours with his own planes. Sometimes, Ken wonders why most people look down all the time and miss all the wonderful stuff that is happening just right above them. Somehow, Ken never really liked the ground very much, so most of the time, he tries to avoid touching it. Although this is not always an easy thing to do. A year ago, Ken got a special present from his Uncle Bobby, who's a huge Man United fan. It was a photograph, a special photograph. The black and white image of this flying goalkeeper enchanted Ken. It looked as if this man was a human aeroplane. From that moment on, Ken decided he wanted to become a goalkeeper, the best goalkeeper in the world. A goalkeeper who was able to fly and to stay as long as possible in the air. Soon, his bedroom and the rest of the house changed into penalty areas. One afternoon, Ken watched some TV and saw something amazing. Old images from the 1968 European Cup final at Wembley Stadium. Immediately, he recognized the flying goalkeeper of Manchester United, Alex Stepney. Then he saw a magic moment. Mr. Stepney made such a fantastic save that Eusebio, the famous striker from Benfica, started applauding. Ken soon realized that there was one big difference between him and this amazing goalkeeper. He was smaller. So the mission was clear. He needed to grow. During one of his many big breakfasts, Ken found out some important news. And this news was the start of a plan. Although Ken realized he was still a bit young, he knew that this was the moment to take over the gloves from Edwin van der Sar, the current goalkeeper of the best team in the world. He started training even more and imagined how he would fly around in his yellow goalkeeper shirt at Old Trafford the home ground of Man United. But Ken also realized that he needed some special tips to become as good as Edwin van der Sar. One afternoon, Ken picked up the phone book and looked for Mr. Alex Stepney. He found three persons with this name. The second one was the old goalkeeper himself. And he invited Ken to come over for a cup of tea. The next Saturday morning, Ken was slightly nervous but also eager to meet the man who was already hanging above his bed for months. was a bit longer than expected, but after two hours, Ken finally found the home of Mr. Stepney. Hello, Mr. Hello. Stepney. Ken, how are you? All right? Yeah. Come on in. Although the old goalkeeper was not flying anymore, he was full of great stories. Ken learned that there was a time in football when goalkeepers didn't wear any gloves and how the hands of Mr. Stepney got dirty all the time. Can you see the mud on my hands there? That's how it uh, used to be. Mr. Stepney also explained to Ken in detail how he'd saved the sensational shot from Eusebio and what happened after. And he also told Ken that he was good friends with Edwin van der Sar. Look at how tall he is against me, eh? And that it was true that the tall Dutch man would retire. So there was no time to lose for Ken. So Mr. Stepney started giving Ken some flying lessons and some very special secrets, things that only goalkeepers know. Finally, 
Mr. Stepney surprised Ken with a free entry card for a special tour at Old Trafford. After flying with Mr. Stepney, Ken already felt a much better goalkeeper than before, and in a game with his friends, he managed to save all the shots. Well, almost all of them. When the game was finished, Ken told his mates the big news. Next season, he would be the new goalkeeper for Manchester United. The next day, Ken woke up early, had lots of cornflakes, and got ready for a special visit, Old Trafford, the stadium where he would be flying soon. When he got through the entrance, Ken decided not to wait for the special group tour. He had just one thing on his mind, to find the dressing room of the first team of Manchester United and sit down on Edwin van der Sar's seat. What happened then is really, really unbelievable. When Ken found Edwin's spot in the dressing room, he saw a small yellow note stuck on the biggest pair of gloves Ken had ever seen. The note said, Hi Ken, you might need these two next season, Edwin. When Ken saw that his name was on the enormous gloves, he immediately tried them on, and to his surprise, they fitted perfectly. Somehow, his hands had gotten bigger from all the extra cornflakes. And from the moment he was wearing these magical gloves, he suddenly felt very light as a feather and just started flying, flying, flying onto the pitch of the theater of dreams, Old Trafford. He heard over 76,000 people shouting his name. Ken, Ken, Ken van der Sar, the new goalkeeper from Manchester United. Well, and then the tour was over, and it was time to go home, to show everyone at home the best present he ever got in his entire life. Pretty soon after, the heavy gloves made Ken very tired, and the new goalkeeper of Manchester United went up to his bedroom. Soon he was dreaming about next season, the wonderful Mr. Stepney, the giant gloves, and, above all, Ken van der Sar dreamt about the wonderful, wonderful art of flying.